Hello, I'm Patrick Byrne from T0. I'm here at the, at the Beyond Blocks Summit in Tokyo. Thank you. Hi, Patrick. So, uh, from the looks of it, you've just had a really interesting talk. Unfortunately, I was not able to see it, and the viewers here will, would not have seen it either. So, could you start off by telling us what T0 is a little bit and what you spoke about? Well, I spoke about the, uh, we have been taking the blockchain and applying it towards Wall Street. And we're trying to create a new version of Wall Street based on the blockchain, one that is fair and provably fair. And it will all be based on blockchain. So we started by buying a node at the center of Wall Street and we are building out, T0 is built on top of an SEC registered a broker dealer called Speedroute, FINRA registered, an SEC compliant trading platform, ATS. All this, uh, we've taken great steps over the years. We've issued the world's first private blockchain uh, security and the world's first public blockchain security. So we've done all of this within this T0 in order to build and test out the system and get it ready to give to the world. So when you say SEC compliant, could you elaborate on that exactly? What does that exactly mean? Yes, there's, there, are, there are trading platforms called alternative trading systems. So they're sometimes called dark pools. They're basically private exchanges. Goldman Sachs has one, Morgan Stanley has one, et cetera. There's about, so in the United States, there are 13 exchanges, and there are a couple dozen of these dark pools, or these AT, uh, ATSs. There's a list of them on the SEC website. If you go to the SEC website, you'll see one of them listed is Speedroute. We, took, we bought Speedroute and then we made it, we applied to the SEC to say we want to make this, turn, turn this into a blockchain trading system and they gave us what's called deemed approval on April 1st, 2015. So we've had three years to be building these different blockchain pieces of Wall Street. I see. That's pretty cool. So, uh, when you, so would you say you were the only, uh, you said dark pool, correct? Would, there's a bunch of those, but you said you were the only dark pool that is, uh, that's on the blockchain? Call it an ATS is best. Call okay. it an ATS is the official name. And we have the only ATS that is both SEC compliant and can trade a blockchain instrument. And we used it to issue the world's first pro private blockchain security and then the world's first public blockchain security, which is called OSTKP. If you look up that ticker and you look, the symbol, the, 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 that security is a blockchain security. That's the only one in the world. And SEC, it's trading in the American capital markets. So we know how to, we have been, we've been at this, we've had for 15 months, we've had already had a public blockchain security. So now we're just sort of perfecting the system and getting it ready because I think that the world of utility tokens of last year is a thing of the past. I think you're going to see most of that shift to security tokens. We want to be ready there with our platform. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> in terms of competition, who would you say is closest to you in competition? I know you said that you're pretty much one of a kind, but, but if there was one, one comp competitor that you would say is closest to doing what you guys are doing, who would it be? Well, what I would expect is that you will see in the United States, you will see somebody else. Goldman Sachs has bought Circle, which has bought Poloniex. Maybe they will try to take Poloniex in this direction. Maybe they'll try to just do what we've done. Uh, all these people, I hear JP Morgan has, as much as Mr. Diamond goes out and criticizes Bitcoin, I hear he's got hundreds of developers working on it. Um, so I think you'll see the old guard of Wall Street respond and, and start working on their system. Very interesting, very interesting. And my last question for you. So 2017 was a big year for uh, blockchain in general. 2018, a lot of people say it's, it's going to be a big year. It's been a bearish market so far. What do you think in terms of the direction that the market will take in the coming months and end of 2018? I really don't have any opinion on that. I, I stay agnostic. But the the, Bitcoin, the blockchain market, the crypto market, I don't have any opinion on that. I know uh, uh, I think of it all in terms of how functional this technology is, but I don't really follow the whole coin coin thing. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ryan.